Let's see. Perfect. Got it.
thinking, dumbass? We warned you this was gonna happen. Please, I'm sorry! I'm so sorry! Get the hell out of here. Huh? But... Huh? Kaito-san? But I got a call about a broken heater. I told you. We figured it out. All fixed. Nothing to see here. Can I at least check to make sure everything's okay? Oh, and I'll need you to sign this, too. I'm not signing shit. You didn't even fix anything. Now get the hell out of here. Uh, actually, could I borrow your restroom? I'm not feeling so good. Shit yourself for all I care. What? Just here to talk, Murase-san. Look, I risked my life to get in here. Just... I don't have to do shit. You can't boss a Yakuza around!
What the hell are you after, huh? I already said, I just want to talk. Look at this. This is you running away after abandoning Kume. Who do you think you are? I'm a local detective. Hamura's lawyer is having me look into Kume's murder. So what? You're defending Hamura? You think I'm gonna tell you shit, asshole? I thought we already negotiated. You want to go again? You're not getting out of this unscathed, you know. I know your face now. Do you really think Hamura killed Kume? Of course I do. Who else could have done it? That's what I'm trying to find out. I need to know what happened that night. <sighs> it's as clear as day. Hamura gouged Kume's eyes out. End of story. Yeah? Where? How? In the dump behind a moor. Bastard tortured Kume to death. Actually, the murder happened somewhere else. And I have the evidence to prove it. Take a look at this. What the hell? That's Kume! Suspicious. Sorry. I'm sure this is tough to look at. But as you can see, there's almost no blood around his body. That means he was killed somewhere else, then transported to the alleyway. Oh. I guess so, huh? Mm, doesn't add up, does it? So, you ready to talk now? <sighs> okay, let's take it from the top. Now, after you ran away from Amor, where exactly did you go? You couldn't just let them take Kume, could you? Yeah, I had to do something. So, I went to round up the rest of the clan. We had to take Kume back. But nobody would help, would they? You kidding? Of course they helped. We burst in there ready to bust heads. But I thought nobody else went in or out of a moor. What? You mean because the camera didn't see anyone? <laughs> Funny thing, that. Turns out you can't get seen if the camera's broken. The back alley was our ticket in. So you really went inside? Yep. Not a soul in the house, though. Trust me, we searched the whole damn joint. And when was that? Just after midnight, I suppose. Right when the prosecution says Hamura was laying into Kume. If you're telling the truth, that's a clear contradiction. Huh. Who gives a shit what the prosecution says? Hamura killed Kume, and that's that. Ain't no other way. Maybe so. But the police still need to hear your story. If you could just testify to that, 
You gotta be kidding me. Why the fuck would I do that, huh? Yeah, it was worth a try. <laughs> nice work. So Marase busts into a moor. And who does he find? Absolutely nobody. Yep, Captain Hamura said he kicked Kume out, then hit the sauna right around midnight. The stories match up. You really think he's innocent? Not sure. Our next step is finding proof he was at that sauna. Guess that's that. Well, <sighs> I'm pooped. How about we call it here for tonight? Yeah, good call. I'll see you tomorrow, Kaito-san.
You find anything? Sure did. Marase spilled the beans over at the Kyore hideout. A place called KJ Art. And you made it out of there in one piece? Incredible. All in a day's work, Shintani-sensei. So, according to Murase, a moor was empty at midnight on the 3rd. That directly contradicts the prosecution's assertion that Hamuro was beating Kume to death at the time. Well, that's a hell of a find. But is Murase gonna testify? It's not that easy. Uh, it never is. Either way, Marase's telling the truth. I found something that backs his story up. Hmm? This is a moor. Three hours after Hamura took Kume. Midnight. Take a good look at the edge of the screen. We don't see any of them go inside, so I thought nothing of it. But the stories match up. Marase and his guys went to a moor to take Kume back. And they left empty-handed. <sighs> Sounds like we need to talk to Captain Hamura. There are too many unanswered questions. Agreed. I'll set up another visit. Give me a call once you do. Yagami-san, you spoke to Mafio, yes? Huh? Yeah, why do you ask? She seemed happy. It had been a while since she last saw you. Oh, cool? But she looks sad, too. Sad? I wonder why. As do I. See you later.
Is ready for us. Take a cab over to the Camarocho police station. Will do. Thanks. When the fuck am I getting out of here, Tuck? Don't ask me. Shintani Sensei's your lawyer, remember? Hamura-san, I've got something to show you. December 3rd, 11.55 p.m. A Kyore man by the name of Murase comes to a moor to rescue Kume. Not wanting to be seen by the cameras, he goes in through the back. And? Murase said there wasn't a soul in sight. Well, yeah, I'd already hopped over to the sauna. And what did you do with Kume? I already told you I threw him out the back. And before that? Huh? Around 10 o'clock, you kicked everyone else out so you could be alone with Kume. I have testimony to back that up. Why'd you do it, though? What can I say? I guess Kume reminded me of an old friend. I must have been feeling nostalgic. Who knows, though? I was pretty plastered. That's so. Did you need to kick everyone out just for that? I told you I was drunk. Who knows what I was thinking? Well, you seem to remember other parts clearly, though. Like when you left the club. What are you getting at? For a so-called innocent man with an alibi, your story has an awful lot of holes. Oh, yeah? You wouldn't hide something from us, would you? Of course not. 
Something like the true killer's identity? I said I'm not hiding shit! Now get the hell out there and prove my alibi! I was at the sauna all night long! Prove that and I'm in the clear! I need to have a backup plan in case your alibi doesn't pan out. But I can't help you if you're gonna hide things from your lawyer. You're suspected of abducting a rival clan member, gouging his eyes out and dumping him in an alleyway. They'll lock you up and toss the key if we can't win this. Has that thought even crossed your mind? Or are all Yakuza just that fearless in the face of a life sentence? Fear has nothing to do with it. But like hell am I gonna beg you to save me. Then who would you beg? <laughs> None of your business. It's only a matter of time, Hamura. I'll figure out what you're hiding. Hey, Yagami! Yo, sounds like you've been busy. Had a little chat with Hamra. Wasn't real productive. Figures. He's keeping something from us. There might be more to this case than we thought. So what? You telling me we hit a dead end? More or less. I need more to work with. Specifically... Like what Hamra and Kume did after leaving Amur. Eyewitness testimony. We don't have time to scour the city for leads, though. Hey, how much money you got? How much you need? You'll need 30k or so. I've got this friend, a local detective on the force. He'll tell you anything for the right price. Anything? <laughs> anything. Guy's an informant. You want the dirt only cops have access to. He's the guy you hit up. So you're saying he's a dirty cop? Name's Ayabe. He's a regular over at Tender. Really? Yeah. Surprised you've never run into him there. It's where everyone goes to meet him. Try asking your pal Masuda. Hey, you have a sec? Of course. What do you need? I'm looking for a detective. Ayabe. You know him? Sure do. He hasn't been by in a few days, though. Why? Ah, uh, damn. Guess I came at the wrong time. <laughs> it's okay. I'll let him know you were looking for him. Why don't you have a drink or two in the meantime? First one's on me. What's all this? <laughs> Just buttering you up. Remember when I mentioned someone who had a job for you? Yeah, what of it? Well, turns out they won't have one for you after all. Sorry. Apparently the client was trying to get back at some Yakuza who sucker punched him. And he wanted me to do what? Not sure. <laughs> Doesn't matter now anyway. Why, did he go all vigilante on him? Not exactly. It sounds like the Yakuza ended up behind bars for killing a man and gouging his eyes out. Huh? Wait a second. Captain Hamura, 
Surprised? Though, now that you mention it, I remember something about a host getting smacked in the face that night. By a Yakuza? Yep. Don't think he got hurt too bad, though. Pretty sure it happened right around midnight. Anything else you can tell me? Sorry, but that's all I've got. You'll have to ask the guy directly. Who is he? Man by the name of Seiya. He's a host over at Club Stardust on Tenkaiji Street. That's where I'd look. Hey, you have a sec? Depends. What do you need? I'm looking for someone who works here. Think I could talk to Seiya for a sec? Seiya-san, huh? No can do. Not today. Is he off today? Not quite. He's out on a date with a customer. Damn. He could be practically anywhere then. Third day in a row, too. He's got it wrapped around his finger. Yeah, that's great. Any idea when he'll be back? No clue. I doubt he went far, but that's all I've got. All right, cool. Thanks anyway. Yo, Tsukumo. Oh, hey, Yagamishi. What's up? I, uh... I need something. Think you can do another message search for me? Sure. Just hit me with the keywords you need. Hmm. Let's go with Stardust and Seiya. Oh, and let's limit the search history to just today. You got it. Give me just a second here. It's working. It's working. <laughs> I'll just push this to your screen. Uh, might have worked too well. Any other keywords you want to narrow this down by? Hmm. Oh, that did the trick. Great. Should be easy to check these out myself. Thanks, Tsukumo. I'm sure you'll find your pretty boy in no time. Excuse me, ma'am. What? I'm looking for a host named Seiya. Works at Stardust. Huh? What do you want with Seiya? Uh, I need to ask him something. I heard he was on a date around here. Uh, did you say date? Who's the bitch he's cheating on me with? Oh, uh, you know what? Never mind. It's fine. 
It is not fine. What the hell is going on? Oh, uh, look at the time. Gotta run. Excuse me, ma'am. What is it? I'm looking for a host named Seiya. Works at Stardust. Wait, you know Seiya-kun? Is he alright? We were gonna go on a date tonight, but he never showed. I'm kinda worried. Huh? I'd heard he was on a date around here too, but I guess that means it wasn't with you. Uh, better luck next time? Wait, what? Seiya-kun's out with another girl? Sounds like it, but don't... Take it too hard. I'm sure you'll bounce back. Oh, thank goodness he's safe. I thought he'd gotten into an accident or something. I wonder if he's having fun on his date. As long as he's happy, I'm happy. Stay down. gets here soon. Wait a sec. You mean Seiya, that host from Stardust? Hmm. Who are you? Are you from the club? Uh, no, sorry. I'm just looking for Seiya. I'd ask where he is, but it looks like you know as much as I do. Hey, are you implying my Seiya-kun stood me up? I'm sure he's just taking his time getting ready. Hmm. He'll be here any minute. Uh-huh. How long have you been waiting, anyway? I... I... <laughs> I shouldn't have asked. Excuse me. Oh, Yagamishi. Did you manage to track down that host of yours? Nope. Struck out on all three leads. Huh. How about giving it another try? Nah, I'm good. I'll figure out some other way. Don't be such a sourpuss, Yagamishi. I bet there have been more posts since earlier. Doubt that's gonna change much. But sure, why not? Let's see what you got. <laughs> Let's start with the same keywords from before. See that? A new hit! <laughs> the landscape of social media changes every second. Apparently they posted it only a minute ago. <laughs> that's not a hot lead, I don't know what is. All right, I'll check it out. Thanks for everything, Tsukumo. <laughs> Not a problem. <laughs>
Hey, Seiya, right? From Stardust? Huh? Sorry to butt in. You have a sec? You'll have to excuse me, my chan. I won't be long. Hey, is everything okay? Don't worry. We'll all be fine. Mind stepping outside, Yagami-san? Wait. You know who I am? I do. The owner over at Tender told me about you. Thought I'd ask you to do me a favor. You want to get back at a Yakuza who hit you, yeah? Yes. He said you might be able to manage something. A disgraced ex-lawyer who's not afraid to get his hands a little dirty? Sounds like you're pretty well known in Kamurocho. So that's what people say about me? One more thing. This is just a rumor, but uh, I hear you'll do anything for your clients. You even got a murderer off the hook, right? Oh, did I say something wrong? No, it's all right. Anyway, you said Captain Hamra hit you? That's right. When? The night of December 3rd. The day of the murder. You're sure? Yes. Funny enough, I've been hired to look into Hamra's case. This story of yours could be key evidence. That's so. Not sure I want to be the guy who sets him free. I know you two have a history, but I need this. Please. How could I say no to a celebrity like you? It's fine. What time did you run into Hamra? I think around midnight. Out in front of Kyushu Number One Star. Not the busiest place. Kyushu Number One Star? Isn't that near Sonic Goten? Yeah, it is. Mind telling me more? Why did he hit you in the first place? <laughs> Wish I knew. The guy reeked of booze, though. I was just walking down the street when I noticed him coming towards me. He was like... mumbling to himself or something. Kind of scary shit. I tried to avoid him, but he just barreled towards me anyway. And how many times did he hit you? Just the once. He left a fucking nasty bruise, though. Knocked one of my fillings clean out, too. A filling, huh? Did you go to the dentist? Huh? Yeah, the next day. Then you'll be in their records. That'll corroborate your testimony. Ah, so that's what you were getting at. Moving on, what did Hamura do after he hit you? He stumbled away into a sauna. That Goten place you mentioned. So just to recap, he hit you around 12, and then headed into sauna Goten. Yes. And as long as I can prove Hamra was here, we'll have our alibi. Oh yeah, the cops mentioned something kind of similar. And can I count on your testimony in court? No problem. It'd be nice to have the great Yagami-san owe me a favor. Maybe Masuda could give me a few freebies too. <laughs> sure, I'll ask him. <laughs> hey, one more thing. Did you see any security cameras around when you ran into Hamura? Video evidence would lock this up for me. Hmm. Couldn't say. I don't usually look for that stuff. Right. Well, thanks anyway. I'll be in touch. Of course. See ya. Negative. But I did track down someone who had a run-in with Hamura. Yeah? Is it good news? His alibi might be more airtight than we thought. You're kidding me. Just around midnight on the day of the crime, this guy Seiya got hit by Hamura, then saw him go to the sauna. It was apparently right by Kyushu Number One Star. If they have a security camera, it would have caught everything. I'm heading to check it out now. Hold on. Isn't that near KJR? Those Kyurei guys won't be happy to see you. If I was worried about getting seen, I'd never leave the office. Huh. 
Fair enough. Later.